We are going on an extravaganza. <clears throat> All right, so here's the story, ready? Well, Cyrus wants a Honda. He's been looking for uh, the right shitty Honda, you know how we do as Honda guys. Uh, so he's been sending me links to these Hondas and found one that looks pretty good. It's a 990 Civic EX Black. Um, and he says it's in Kalispell, which is four hours from where we live. And he's trying to think about uh, what to do, trailer and shit. And I'm like, hold on, hold on. We could just trailer that shit or we could make this an extravaganza. So <coughs> here's the plan. We're gonna put ourselves in harm's way. Uh, we're gonna drive over there. We're gonna leave here, seven in the morning. Drive over there, get there four hours after seven. I don't know, math. And then um, buy the car. Oh, did I tell you it has a rod knock? It has a rod knock. This is a rod knock. Extravaganza. Yeah. And then we're gonna drive it to somewhere. Fields, cul-de-sac, Walmart, something like that. And then swap the block out with what we got. And if we fuck up, we die. Except that we have an extra car. But <clears throat> I'd like it to be that extreme. Bring one bottle of water just to make it real desperate. So I went and fetched this uh, block. <clears throat> it's a Y7 block. It's got a Y8 in there, but you know, same diff, except for the, so there are some differences, but the casting is the exact same. The rod, the rods are different. I don't know. It's gonna work. I'm gonna put this Y7 block in there, but um, I don't know about it. I don't know about it just yet. So right now I'm gonna uh, take it out. It, it spins nice. That's all I know. It was 50 bucks. I'm gonna uh, pull it out here and pressure wash it upside down <laughs> to keep the water out of everything, and then um, take the pan off and. <clears throat> Check out the bearings, and if she's good, then we're going to put it back on, pan, and we're going to drive there tomorrow, so let's see how it goes. Alright, well, I just spent 45 minutes scrubbing the piston tops, uh, knowing I should have done this first but I had faith because it spun so easily. But look at this bearing. That's very, very bad, very bad. And the crank um, looks solid, where am I at, where am I at? Salvageable, but it would need micro polished, like definitely, I can barely feel it. But anyways, don't forget, we're trying to go tomorrow to Montana so there's one other option I'm trying to get my try to get dude man's money back on this uh, and then there's a Y another Y7 I know of that is installed in an automatic car uh, broke the timing belt so good bottom end and like the person who's selling that at least says they know what's up this guy didn't know what's up with this so anyways Let's see what's next. All right, this is Osiris and Lola. And uh, we are driving to get the block from the place right here. Here's the donor. Also, look at that one, but this one supposedly has a bonehead gasket, which can confirm by looking at the milk. Milkshake. It's hard to see, but it's it's milkshakey. That one over there is supposed to be broken time belt, but they put it back in time and uh, has no compression. That one's less verifiable without. So whatever. That one's automatic too. This one's manual. Easier. I'm gonna try to do this as safe as we can in the dirt with the jack stands. Symbolize the beginning of our trip. Bike scripts and love nuts. Instructions. 
You see? What, what? Huh? What do you say? Oh, that's not fucking nasty as hell. <laughs> yeah, it's a good sign though for us. Means that block's probably good. All right, we got our head removed here. We've been slopping it up here. We did the shit. Only missing one tool at the moment. Should have spun this before I uh, started going ham, but it's okay. Probably would have discouraged me. And we don't want discouragement. That wall, the blown head gasket leaked into there for sure. Chilled. Gonna scotch by WD-40 and you know, should be okay. There's still some crosshatch going on here. Um, should be all right. It's a D16A. I initially thought it was a D16Y. Um, look at this clutch on here. Toast! Someone had their clutch pedal adjusted super wrong is my guess. So anyways, it's out. We're gonna clean up, go find food, and uh, go home and prep this thing for tomorrow. I'm gonna tear the rope, do the similar treatment. Uh, tear the oil pan off, douche it all down, all the milkshake in there. Clean that up, clean the head bolt holes. Go from there. There's been some discoveries. I want to just make sure this bolt is come offable. See that crank boy drop? Look at that typical Honda shit going on in there. That fucked up crank pulley. What do you know? So now we're gonna pull the engine from that other car. Just kidding, fuck that. We're gonna hammer this bolt down tomorrow. And pray she don't wobble too much. I got my TIG welder to fix that, but I don't know about that. Blur, blur, blur. And when did you first know you wanted to be a motor? I'm just kidding. Okay, so look at that. Uh, oh no. All right, so that did not, that had been rusty for a little bit, I guess. It was not trying to come out nicely at all, the scotch pipe. So, let's go hard. 16A, right? E16A, JDM. So no, uh, I, just, I saw this and I'm like, hmm, what's that doing on? Actually, what I saw is the lack of the timing trigger thingy. Oh god, is that gonna come out? Nobody oh, want an oil pump? We're gonna do the CKF trick. Man, um, that trick brings a lot of buzz to me on. Weapon of choice. Sleepy seven. That'd be fun. Two, but this little sleepy seven. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? I got an air compressor full of air. <laughs> uh, little jumper pack battery charger thing. Um, I brought a jumper harness and a Honda data, just in case I want to be lazy and not. Oh, and the laptop. Uh, not uh, do the CKF trick, which I'll show you. But anyways, let me get some coffee in me. Let me get go pick up Osiris. Let, let, let's do this. Got to make sure doggy go poo poo first. So, uh, that was the, the most literal ghetto backyard, uh, home job and stuff I had ever done. Um, the 
feel pretty good about it. You know, the mains and the rods are torqued, torqued to spec and sequence. And uh, it's still like some milkshake, like in the, um, the girdle has like oil passageways and stuff. And I should have taken the oil filter off a lot earlier in the cleaning process. Some of the rings were stuck on the pistons, like previous. I fixed them, you know, cleaned them up. So that's good. Uh, yeah, anyways, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be real fun. Let's see. Okay, we're good. Come on! Watch <laughs> the struggle. I just seen it. Oh yeah, I just seen it on uh, Facebook on the way over for sale. <clears throat> Everything works. <laughs> All right. Okay, there's his excited face. <laughs> blow the engine before we get to the place which the place the guy thinks we're crazy and I don't know why but uh, <clears throat> there's like a campground we're trying to go to hey don't blow it yet <laughs> keep the RPMs low oh that is getting way worse we was only we were only driven like half a mile or less well, at least we got a downhill, right? <laughs> I think he turned the car off. That's smart. Or... Or it died. Forever. Oh, I just seen metal. Metal fly out from underneath this car. <laughs> Don't worry, I got tow rope. Hey, everything 
all right there, bud? No. <laughs> Here, pop the hood. Let's see. I got some mechanical experience. Oh yeah, there's a hole in was trying to say is that the guy who sold us the car uh, recommended this as a nice engine replacement spot. I think it's personally kind of a little too cold over here though. Uh, also some kind of ritzy folks who probably are gonna call the cops even though we're in Montana and I feel like you should be able to swap engines wherever you want. <clears throat> so I think we're gonna get the car to campground I think it's a daytime use only he said so I'm like okay well somebody's gonna patrol it it's about to be dark but we're gonna get it there and then I'm gonna crawl up in these mountains and see if there's a good little spot but I gotta go quick because it's 2 40 and I don't know what time it gets dark here you know it's 6 six twenty in my hometown which is in different time zones so I'm not trying to think about that too much I told you I'm bad at math <coughs> on the whoa, 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 the chains the chains not taut fishing access users they use only no overnight camping doesn't say anything about no um, engine swaps so probably good oh dang it <laughs> all right that dude almost ruined our fun okay take the break off, it is off. okay Oh God. I got scary. It's raining. It's dark. Hello. This may be my last recording. But a lot of things have gone wrong, let me tell you. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Well, firstly, I, I didn't take the oil pan gasket from that the engine like when I pulled it because it was full of sludge and I figured like the the Y8 oil pan, you know, it has bolt holes for bracket and stuff, whatever. Y8 oil pan, better. Better-ish. So I left it. Well, the Y8 oil pan doesn't hug up against the OBD1 oil pump well at all. Uh, it's a giant gap. <laughs> so I slathered a bunch of uh, Honda Bond in the crack, a bunch of it, and uh, you know, at that rate, at this rate, then this is good. That Honda Bond's probably gonna be cured by the time we finish. Because, well, you see, the head bolts don't work. What? Oh my God. Okay, so this is a OBD one based engine, like a D60 D6, which uses longer head bolts in a Y8. Uh, I went to buy, dropped the head bolts in, everything was going so well. And then, oh God, oh God, I can't see. And then, uh, yeah, they, they were not protruding, like they fell all the way down, uh, you know what I'm saying? So there was no, no turns, no threads to turn up in there. And I said, oh my God, we're fucked. So anyways, I cannot see. One other thing that happened, was uh, I was trying to put the car back together, like put it on the ground so it didn't look like a tweaker mobile so that uh, we could both go to this parts store real quick. And while I was trying to slam the axle in the hub, you know, the uh, hub, like the splines were mismatched. Well, that's not a big deal, right? You, well, you, 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 sorry, sorry for cussing. You slam it once and you line it up. Anyways, it started like mushrooming the, the hub splines, which is crazy. I've never seen it. Um, and now like 
the axle does not go in because the hub splines are like mushroomed out and there's no so um my thoughts on how to deal with that is take the axle out from the transmission flip it around and then like pound it in the hub from the other way to kind of smoothen it out by force um i'm not really sure what's what's gonna go down there i have a file like it's been a long time filing which you might have to do but at least by then uh screwed up uh on the bottom of the wall band <laughs> will be cured right anyways i'm gonna go see if i get head bolts parts store uh, supposed to be open till nine but and i'll be there like 10 minutes before but they're not answering hopefully they got these head bolts if they do we will uh continue this into the night into the rain if, if they don't i'm gonna go back pick them up and then we're gonna get a hotel Art store is open until 10, says Google. Um, AutoZone, but I called this AutoZone. AutoZone didn't answer, right? I called this AutoZone in Missoula, which is two and a half hours away. And they answered. I'm like, hey, I told him exactly what I'm looking for. He's like, oh, yeah, we got a ton of those in stock. And I'm like, all right, um, how much? And he's like, oh, well, there's a lot of different kinds. I'm like, um, okay, tell me, tell me the options. He's like, well, one's 18. One's uh, some other number. I'm like, uh, okay, what brands are they? Anyways, he's like, well, it'd probably be best if you just come in. Like, oh my god, I've never had a parts store freaking interaction as terrible as that. Anyways, he, uh, I said, screw that. I was gonna like, you know, buy them if they got them, have them set them outside, like buy them on a card, have them set them outside if I can, and then drive down, pick them up, come back. Yeah, you know, just five hours. Um, we gotta do this, right? But, yeah, screw that guy. He's gonna give me, like, just 10 millimeter bolts instead. Um, so, just drove to AutoZone. <sighs> Guess what? They're close. They are close. So, just booked the hotel. Um, so, gonna go back, get Osiris, and then, well, I'm gonna wrap up the tools. I'm also gonna try to fix that axle problem, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, to know if I need to go hard and like do some extreme stuff tomorrow or what. Let's see, Osiris is there, he's cold. Oh my freaking goodness. I time-lapsed the whole engine removal and all that, which was like two and a half, uh, 15 minutes. And, uh, yeah, of course, my phone's like, oh, can't load for whatever reason. So, yeah, sorry about that. You missed out on all that good footage. I've always wanted to do a time lapse, but I knew something would happen. I knew it. Try again next time. All right. This is a no overnight parking campground. I'm really bummed that I don't have the uh, time lapse for you, but we can look. Never seen this. While while trying to get the axle in, it mushroomed the hub. So hoping that this will fit. If I take it out of the transmission and shove it that way, I hope that it will go far. Let me back up for you far enough to straighten those blinds out. I think I'm gonna try that right now, even though I don't want to, cause it's kind of rainy, but that's part of all this, right? She got all the way to the spot and stopped. I must keep going. And if I'm not careful, I will mushroom this and this won't go in the tranny anymore and the C-clip will get stuck. And then, uh, also if I let it go, it'll fall out of that. The boot, uh, the joint will fall apart inside. So, I need help. I'm gonna keep this like in place too as a hammer. I guess I can put the tie rod on. <clears throat> I'm gonna get, uh, Cyrus is cold, so he's in the car, but I'm gonna get him out here. Hold this stuff together so I can do this. 
so I don't do the things I was talking about. I'll hammer on this. It's going to be great. It's pointed. Well, before I explain the hammering thing, I already hammered on the, that side. And now, the axle is not trying to go in the transmission. So, maybe new axle. And also, this hub's still fucked up, so. Uh, I think I'm going to take this guy. I think. I have to think, think about this. Put it back over there. Hammer the fuck out of it. Um, so that these, so this axle isn't for nothing. And these splines will clean up the hub, hopefully. Um, I mean, I, I hammered, but went, didn't go as hard as I could. Anyways, if I get that thing in there, it's gonna be pretty stuck. I'm gonna have to hammer back out, but it should straighten out the splines. Axle's already screwed, I think. So might as well, right? I mean, the next next scenario, I have to get a new knuckle from the junkyard here in Kalispell, if there is one. So Cyrus told the dude who we uh, got the car from about our adversities, and he messaged his friend. And uh, this friend has Z6 head bolts, sounds like. So, we'll see about that. <clears throat> we didn't fail. We're just not done yet. <clears throat> well, the battery died on the Accord from lighting up our world. It's been a very strong battery. I thought it would last, but uh, thank freaking goodness I got the battery box and it did its job. Because, um, you know, you can't push start a manual. I mean, you can, I just don't think those are ours. Wants to. <laughs> yeah? No. Oh, okay. We have no pen to leave a note. I'm just going to put that back now and get it. I promise. Economical. It's morning time. Uh, slept terribly. It's okay though. I found an uh, axle, so that's good. And I found head bolts, so that's good. Although they say they have them, but we'll get to the store and see if they hand them to me. And then hub. Found a junkyard that's open. It's Saturday, and very not helpful. He told me to call back and when the other guy's there and blah 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 and there's a Canadian model doesn't have ABLs and I'm like Yeah, I think it's not a U pole either, so it's probably gonna be freaking way more than I'm used to. My junkyards in my hometown are dirt cheap, but anyways, let's see what we can do here. We're here in Montana still. This is all we need then, right? That, the other thing, and the other thing. What other thing, and other thing? The head, well, the axle, and then the head bolts. Oh, we have the head bolts. I know, yeah, we got all the things. Oh, okay. You can't be saying other things. It has turned into a uh, nice ass day and we got all the things hopefully for success. So uh one hour. <laughs> he's got a date. I don't know, I didn't know exactly about this, but he's got a date he's trying to uh, uh attend in X amount of time, so we gotta bust ass properly without messing anything up. the oil light turn off before we actually start it so here I turn the key back and forward and you see the oil freaking no oil oh wait 
plug in the oil sensor thing. Is it off? Huh? Is it off? No. Keep going. Okay, oil pressure is built. Start her up. Eh, 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 eh. It's running. There's a. Let's see. <laughs> I expect there to be a check engine light because there's no secondary O2 sensor. But. Yeah? <laughs> Clean all this shit up. She's a runner. It's cardboard. Yes, and I got that block back there. canters out there you probably can't cuz you're an eye canter right don't be an eye canter be an eye canter nah, he's supposed to meet a girl for a date at 5 I think GPS's will be there 550 I don't know if she's gonna be patient enough like we can probably we can shale off 20 minutes in a four-hour drive right so she can be, if he could be a half an hour late and show up looking like a scrub, <laughs> then he's all right. You know? I am absolutely filthy. My car is freaking absolutely filthy. My dog's dirty too. We are uh, getting this boy to his date on time. I hope. Let's just keep life a little interesting, all right? Do hard things.